Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Lumio Station. Hello everyone, this is Tricky and welcome to episode 5 of my top 10 series here on Lumio Station. Today I'll be counting down the top 10 most hostile Pokemon from the Johto region. I don't know why creepy and dangerous things are so appealing, but I couldn't help it. I have already covered the Kanto list and a lot of people voted to see the next one, so ta-da! I'll be judging them by their Pokedex entries, design origins, and imagining how they may respond in nature if they were real. You may or may not agree with this list, but be sure to put what Pokemon from Johto you think is the most hostile in the comments below. Anyways, let's get started with our honorable mentions. Now these guys are dangerous in their own little way, but they don't actually intend to blow up your face right away. We got Heracross, Murkrow, Wobbuffet, and Pineco. These Pokemon are mostly really chill unless you mess with them or steal their stuff just like me. Even so, they won't go out of their way to end your life, but you wouldn't want to anger them. And then Pineco just randomly falls out of trees and explodes, so that's that's healthy. Anyways, enough of them, let's go ahead and move on to the actual list. Taking our number 10 spot is Girafferig. Is that even how you pronounce it? This Pokemon doesn't really seem like it would be dangerous or hostile, but we should really be given this number two its tail. Its tail is a demon, or I don't know what it is, but it's not nice. Well, anyway, apparently this tail even has a brain too and the only thing that I could think about is biting something that gets way too close to it. Uh, not only can it see, it could also smell and it could think about Evil. The tail has a mind just like Chain Chomp, which their designs are almost identical. But at least the only thing it could do is bite if you get too close. I really want a Mega Giraffe Rig so they could build off of this really interesting design concept. I don't know how I would feel about it, but it would still be really interesting to see what they would come up with. Moving on to number 9, we have Mistrevis. Just analyzing its design, it does not seem like it would be a Pokemon that would cause havoc. I know it's a ghost type and everything, but it's freaking adorable. You would never think that it would actually cause a lot of harm. But anyway, according to its Pokedex entry, this Pokemon loves playing tricks on people. You see those little orb thingies? They absorb fear, and that's how this Pokemon receives nourishment. It makes a really creepy sobbing noise out of nowhere just to scare people, and then they randomly bite and pull people's hair just to get a reaction? What the heck, dude? Fear is a powerful thing, and this Pokemon is definitely not a very friendly one. Moving on to number 8, we have Tyrogue. This little thing doesn't look like it would be a threat at all, but that is exactly why this Pokemon is extremely dangerous. Even though this Pokemon is small, if it feels like it's being ignored or being insulted in some way, it would just come up and punch you in the face. So it's basically like a spoiled kid who doesn't get what he wants. Or that drunk frat guy at a party just randomly comes up, minding your own business, and just punches you in the face for no reason. But of course, just because it's small doesn't necessarily mean that it's not a dangerous Pokemon. So just to avoid getting punched in the face, just pay attention to this little weird thing. I totally just forgot its name right then. Tyrogue. There we go. Moving on to number seven, we have Gligar. At first glance, like the rest of these Pokemon, it doesn't seem like it would be a dangerous or a hostile Pokemon. It honestly looks adorable. But looking deeper into it and looking at its Pokedex entry, this Pokemon is basically a flying scorpion. Scorpions aren't really friendly to begin with, and ignoring most of its anime appearances, this Pokemon could be very scary. Imagining how Gligar actually attacks is kind of terrifying. Gligar's target is the face. According to its Pokedex entry, this Pokemon hangs onto the face of its foe using its clawed hind legs and the large pincers on its forelegs, then injects the prey with its poison barb. This thing is a face hugger! If you don't know what a face hugger is, its name is self-explanatory, and go watch the Alien movies. Anyways, back to Gligar. Just imagine a flying scorpion clinging to your face and constantly stabbing you with its poisonous tail. That is not a good way to go. Moving on to number 6, we have Sneasel. Again, this Pokemon doesn't look too dangerous but of course it has that dark typing and that mischievous little smile doesn't really signal friendliness. This Pokemon is extremely vicious and will not stop attacking until its foe is incapable of moving. Also, this Pokemon is one of the only three Pokemon who could learn beat up while leveling up. So this Pokemon and its buddies will gang up on you. But of course, a dark eyes type with razor sharp wolverine looking claws would be a danger to anything. Moving on to number five, we have Ursaring. Now just looking at this Pokemon, you could definitely tell that this would be a hostile Pokemon, especially since it is based off of a grizzly bear. This Pokemon doesn't necessarily go around looking for trouble, but like real bears, they're extremely territorial and they're really, really protective over their babies. So if you accidentally wander into an Ursaring's territory, you're probably gonna die. 
Also, if it happens to be anything like a real bear, again, if you just happen to look at its child, it will charge at you. Mixing up a little bit of real life information in here, grizzly bears are responsible for 70% of fatal injuries to humans. So imagine a super powered bear doing that. I want Pokemon to be real, but if they were real, I'm pretty sure that we would have a few problems. Moving on to number four, we have Feraligator. You could just kind of look at its face and you could tell that it would want to bite your face off. Feraligator is a giant two-legged alligator crocodile monster thing who is capable of moving at a very high speed. It also has opposable thumbs and it's not just stuck in the water like real alligators. It could come up to your house, open the door, and eat you. According to its Pokedex entry, whenever it bites with its massive and powerful jaws, it shakes its head and savagely tears its victim up. Of course, this is really similar to what real alligators do. They do the death roll. They basically just grab their prey and they shake and they twist until their prey is completely dismantled. It's pretty gross. And what's so scary is that that's actually real. Now imagine a for alligator doing that. I honestly feel so sorry for its prey. Or if it happens to be hungry for humans. So if Pokemon were real, I would probably want to stay away from a for alligator unless I owned one. Taking our number three spot is Houndoom. This Pokemon would definitely give you all the cuddles and all the love. Anyway, in Pokemon lore, people imagine that this Pokemon would actually summon the Grim Reaper, which is actually kind of cool, but very scary at the same time. Plus, Houndoom is based off of Hellhounds, and most of the times they are not pleasant to be around, because if you happen to see one, you're probably gonna die. Well, anyway, Houndoom is a dark type, and of course, being a dark type gives it that little bit of an evil edge to it. The dark type honestly contains a lot of cheating moves and things that would be unfair when it comes to battling. According to its Pokedex entry, the flames that it breathes out contain some sort of poison in it, and if it burns you, it will hurt forever. Can you imagine being burnt from head to toe and having to live with that pain forever? I mean, if you don't die, of course, but that is sucky. Not only that, but Houndoom travels in packs. So if you happen to enter a Houndoom's territory, you're probably gonna die because its whole pack is gonna attack you. And they could catch you on fire. Something that is hostile that could catch you on fire is not nice, especially if that flame breather happens to be a symbol of death. But we're not gonna talk about the Pokemon anime because this episode was freaking adorable and I love Houndoom. Anyways, moving on to number two, we have Ariados. Giant poisonous spider. I wonder. This Pokemon is absolutely cruel. According to Ariados' Pokedex entry, it will attach silk to its prey and then set it free. Seems nice. But then, it tracks the silk to the prey and its friends. So it basically puts a tracking device on the thing, trick the person or the Pokemon to believe that they're free and they're safe, and then it will follow them and kill their friends and family. That's lovely. Do you know how hard it is to see spider webs sometimes? Sometimes they could be practically invisible. So, I really want to catch Ariados on fire, that is not nice! And of course, being terrified of spiders doesn't really help that. And of course, Pokemon poison is a lot more deadly than normal poison. And this is a giant spider as well. So, this Pokemon is definitely far from generous, and one that you would never want to run into. Now before I reveal number one, be sure to vote for next week's countdown, put everything in the comments below, and also be sure to tell me what Pokemon from Johto you think is the most hostile in the comments below as well. So the number one most hostile Pokemon from Johto is Igglybuff. This Pokemon is Satan. I freaking hate Not really. Number one is Tyranitar. This one was pretty much a given. This Pokemon will destroy everything. And of course, it has that dark type in as well. According to its Pokedex entry, it is so overwhelmingly powerful that it could bring down a whole mountain just to make it its nest. So Tyranitar definitely goes overboard when it comes to making its bed. And it honestly doesn't even give a crap. And apparently its rampages are so intense that maps even have to be redrawn afterwards. It completely destroys everything. You can't even recognize it anymore. And of course, they based Tyranitar off of Godzilla, so that was kind of a given. But in any case, this Pokemon is always looking for a fight. It will take on anything, even if it knows that it could destroy it. And that's where the dark typing comes from. Also, this Pokemon is extremely territorial as well. If you happen to walk into its nest, which could possibly be an entire mountain, you're gonna die. And if you think that Ursaring was bad, if you touch a baby Larvitar and its mama's right there, goodbye. Goodbye forever. Anyways, those are my top 10 most hostile Pokemon from Johto. If you agree with this list, be sure to let me know in the comments below and be sure to vote for next week's countdown as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.